Hi everybody, it's April. I'm going to go ahead and do a little comparison video. I apologize, the video I did with the um, card doing the fox, somehow footage wasn't recorded when I thought it was recording, so I thought, okay, well let me sit down and try to redo painting the foxes. So I did that earlier, and I started doing that, and this side is gelatos that I mixed with water, and this side is the new palette I picked up, the Gansey Tambi Starry Colors, the pearlescent watercolors. So I was filming doing this, and someone upstairs didn't know that I was recording a video. It's like 11.30 at night, and I thought everybody was in bed, so all of a sudden while I was painting there was all this commotion above my head that was really bad so I couldn't even like over I couldn't even talk over it, it was so loud so I apologize but I'm just gonna give up on this part because the gelatos first of all is not something that you can really use on a card as far as um, unless you want to seal it or something because I went back to this one and I did use gelatos and a mix of uh, perfect pearls on this one but as you can see like on this flower the gelatos rubs off you can see the black coming through there and then when I rub my fingers over these you know I'm getting a lot of that pearlescence is coming back off so I wouldn't recommend the gelatos uh, mixing that with water um, I had used a I just kinda cut some off of the crayon and smushed it into water on my palette and that's how I made the watercolor like you know a little liquid for it but it still dries you know pretty it has that gel consistency so it rubs off really easy now these two I've already done and these are this was the blue gelato so that's coming off yeah it's coming off of there I forgot how you seal gelatos, to be honest with you. I know when people are using gelatos, it's usually in art journaling. Um, so I think a lot of people will seal their pages, which we just don't do that in card making, you know, really. I don't anyway. But so here's the paint. Let me make sure my finger's clean. And see, that's the difference. That's just going onto the card, staying on the card, you know. So that's the difference with the actual paint here. But I thought we could try real quick do a comparison with the Perfect Pearls and see how that does. I know I've seen a lot of crafters use these and stuff that they're doing so I thought we would do a little bit of this white just the rain, you know, regular pearl color. Apologize if I sound weird. I have my neck brace on and pretty much a lot of pain tonight so had to put my brace on my neck, but it's up really holding my chin up tight. So anyhow, let's do this. And I'm going to just squirt a little bit of water over here. I can get that to work. And I'll mix this together. Really pretty. I definitely like the Perfect Pearls. I don't think it rubbed off on the other one I did, so it was just the Gelatos. But let's see if there's a big difference in as far as the pearlescence. So, and this is black um, cardstock from Michaels. I think it's 110 pound. So there's that. Now I had already wet these. So this one is the white gold. You see, that's a lot more pigmented. It's a little bit thicker too. I don't have a lot of water on there right now, but let's try to thin it out. You see how 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 um how much brighter that one is as far as the reflection and stuff. Now maybe it's you know consistency wise with the perfect pearls. I don't know, but let's try. I have a yellow gold. So uh, yeah, this one's more yellow. See how that one does. Maybe I won't um, mix as much water into it. It looks really shiny over here, like liquid gold. 
want to make sure all the powder is dissolved. Okay. I can see some granules in there, so that's why I'm doing that. So that's a little bit thicker and brighter. That's really pretty. That's giving off a really bright shine. So maybe I just didn't, maybe I watered that one down too much. So let's see, let's go to this one, the yellow gold. See how this one does. <laughs> Again, you see how much brighter that is. May not be a perfect match. This one's really yellow. Let's see. Well, it says, yeah, that one says yellow gold. That's the only one. Let's try this red gold. See if that's makes a difference. I'm just trying to find one that's a little bit closer to what this one was. That almost looks the same. So this one's a little bit closer, I think, to that. And if you do it that way, it looks like it's a little bit more comparable. I'm almost tempted to add some more white to this other one and see. If I add a little bit more powder to this mix I made of the white, if that'll come brighten up as much as this. There's little bugs flying around everywhere because my craft room is in the basement and I have all these bright lights on right now. <laughs> so the bugs, every teeny tiny little bug is finding me right now. Just about scared me when something flew across my head. Alright, so I just added a little bit more powder. See if I can get that too equal the other one. So yeah, I think a little bit better there. Almost comparable. So these are the two whites. These are closer in color. This is a red gold. That was yellow gold. These are the Gansey Tambi in this line. And these are the perfect pearls. So let's go. I have one more. It's more like a copper. And I don't know which one of the Gansey Tambi would be comparable, but I thought we would go ahead and see if we like it. I mean, really, if, I think if you don't mix that much water, you're going to get a better result as far as being comparable. Wow. That's gorgeous. Almost looks like a um, Something that would be poured into <laughs> making jewelry. Let's do this. So, that's really pretty. I did a swatch over here of all the Gansey Tambi ones. So that's the perfect pearl, kind of like in a copper. This is the yellow gold, and that is the pearl. This side is the Gansey Tambi watercolor, so that's pretty cool. I would say definitely the Perfect Pearls could be a substitute. Here's the swatch I did of all the Gansey Tambi colors. So we had the blue gold, the red gold, the yellow gold, the champagne gold, the light gold, and white gold. So there's those. And those are really bright, but um, so far this looks like the Perfect Pearls could definitely, you know, be a good substitute. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Again, I apologize I couldn't get that card done, but in the end, really, um, I'm going to have to look into seeing how to seal gelatos before I would send this to anyone because obviously it's going to rub off all over the recipient's hands. So, anyhow, and then uh, again, here's the little tiny one I had attempted to start doing, but you know, the gelato, as you can see, isn't as bright either. So it would definitely go with the perfect pearls. Okay, take care, guys. Bye. Have a good night.